Howdy folks and welcome to Brain Rodders. So the Shang-Chi world premiere just happened a few nights ago and we have to talk about how it shows love lots of who will be in the movie including the Mandarin from Iron Man 3 and maybe how it spoils what I think to be an Eternals post credit scene in the film. So stay with me. So let's talk about the fact that the director of the Eternals film, Chloe Zhao, was on the red carpet premiere of Shang-Chi. Then there was the fact that Shang-Chi comes out two months before the Eternals, so it only makes sense that one of the two post credit scenes would be Eternals related. Personally, I think the scene could include a scene ripped straight from the Eternals film that shows the rise of our team or even the team returning to Earth or something like that. Now it is confirmed that Shang-Chi will have two post credit scenes like I said, so I can only imagine that in one post credit scene you have the Eternals related content and in the other it will be isolated only to the film and maybe a character reveal or someone isn't really dead or something to do with Shang-Chi's future in the MCU being teased on a much bigger bigger scale. Then there was Ben Kingsley at the premiere as well and he plays the fake Mandarin in Iron Man 3. There was even a Marvel one shot short film from a while back called All Hail the King where Trevor Slattery the fake Mandarin learns that the real Mandarin from Shang-Chi is angry with him and then the short film ends with with the Ten Rings taking him away. Now, that short film takes place in 2014 after the events of Iron Man 3 in 2013, meaning that the Mandarin has kept Slattery prisoner for seven years, and I can only imagine the psychological damage this guy must have that we will see in the film in Shang-Chi, or maybe the Mandarin used him for something, but whatever the case, after seven years, expect Slattery to help Shang-Chi in whatever way needed to help get out of the hole he's dug himself in and help fight the Mandarin. Who knows, maybe he's not even in the movie itself. Maybe. Trevor Slattery is the star of the post credit scene because uh, for Far From Home, J.K. Simmons, who plays J. Jonah Jameson, showed up to the world premiere of the movie and his performance was limited to that of a post credit scene in Spider-Man Far From Home. And he still showed up the, for the premiere. So my bet is that Ben Kingsley will be featured in the post credit scene of Shang-Chi. Hey, you made this far. You might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. You know who wasn't at the premiere from the photos I've seen at least is Tim Roth who portrays Emil Blonsky or more accurately Abomination in the MCU so that it means that Abomination is likely to stay in form and to be honest I'm not even sure if Abomination can turn back into Blonsky but whatever the case so there will be no speaking lines from Abomination in the film otherwise there would be a needed performance from Tim Roth and Tim Roth isn't there so expect Abomination's cameo to just be as short as his cameo in the trailers which is unfortunate but it is what it is we're getting Abomination so who are we to complain at least thank you all so much for watching what did you think of this video what do you think about the Eternals possibly having their own post credit scene in Shang-Chi let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below I want to thank you all so much for watching and for the massive support recently we're almost at 1k please subscribe if you are new thank you have a great rest of your day